welcome back to the channel guys uh this is a retake of what i recorded earlier but i deleted it because i'm like it isn't good enough it is 409 when i started recording recording this and it's gonna come out whenever it comes out i just gotta slap it together it should be pretty easy because it should be just one big long clip we're gonna go down and look at the construction site see what has changed since i was on vacation and yeah i hope you guys enjoy on my walk down here a couple things i want to talk about YouTube, glorious YouTube. Uh, yeah, I hearing about all these uh, strikes for child safety stuff. Just uh, me speaking to YouTube. There's a lot worse stuff. Stuff, yeah. There's a lot worse stuff. There's a lot worse stuff on YouTube than teaching your kid to run tractor or a younger kid that was taught to run tractor under per parental supervision teaching your kid to run tractor or something or a kid that learned how to run tractor that's 14 15 years old really YouTube come on but hey I haven't received this strike yet I don't know why I would I'm 19 so but hey you know YouTube can always surprise me anyway now I'm down at the construction site and before I show you what changed there are channels out there that got hit pretty hard from this younger channels or I shouldn't say young, yeah well I guess I'm a younger channel too I've, it's not that old but uh, I know Canadian farm kid and then a viewer told me about this one channel farmer king or it's farm king sorry if I butchered your name up but yeah go check out their channel give them uh, some uh, share the love on, for the farm channels out there I think Canadian Farm Kid actually took down as well as videos, but you can still support them. Uh, but yes, now we're here. Here's a cow lane going from this cow barn to our heifer barn. For those of you are new, and this is your first time on the channel, welcome. I'll say it again here. This heifer barn here is going to be, I don't know if we're going to have to do much freestyle work at all. I mean, these are older heifers. We'd have the wide in the stalls a little bit we might not we'll see but um yes may or may not widen the free stalls but this will be for cows cows there's another cow barn beyond this one that's next to the part that we're milking in now from 1993 that's when we started milking in the cow part and uh, the milking parlor that will be uh curb work free stall work that's gonna be for heifers that's so that's gonna be a process up there but now we're down here for those that are new, the new parlor is a 60 cow rotary. Um, the parlor that we're in now is a double 20 hair and bone parlor. The parlor here is all but done. I mean, other than fine stuff that you won't be able to tell that they do, there actually might be some painting. So you'll be able to easily tell when that's done, but uh, it's all but done. Here earlier today, or sometime earlier this week, they have the track up here ready for the crowd gate. <clears throat> this is the holding area. This holding area is as wide as the one we have now. It's just double the length. There's a three foot pit underneath me that is sloped. This whole holding area is sloped and it's gonna be sloped into that pen pit beneath that cow barn. Over here to the exit lanes that are still being worked on. Like I said, I'm pretty sure most of this stuff's done. I mean, they got to do the crowd gate, but who knows how long that's going to take. And those, those tracks aren't finished. They're not lined up, so there's, there's a little bit of tweaking and work to be done there yet. But um, fans are all up, doors are all hung, epoxy floors are done. I think it's epoxy floors, I don't know. I could be butchering the name up completely. Now, as I walk in here, self-conscious that I'm talking to a camera while everyone else is working, if there's anyone in here, parlor's done. Other than fine-tuning and a lot of wiring, I believe it's all done. This blue stripe was painted. That was actually probably painted yesterday or today. So that's fresh. Still some fine stuff in there. 
that goes into the utility area. That will be in there. That's for a uh, lunchroom, bathroom, locker room, shower. In there, storage. And then over here in that room, at some point I mentioned right there, we have an industrial dryer. Rent. Runs off of propane. Be able to draw like 500 towels, so that'll be nice. That's all right here where they're going to be standing and milking cows. So we want to be as efficient as possible. That right there is going to be a bathroom for the employees. So everything's right there. Uh, this is done here. I'm not sure what exactly what this is going to be used for. Because believe it or not, I don't know everything. Up top there will be for offices. And maybe eventually, someday, we might do tours on our dairy. I have no clue, and I'm not going to say we will or won't, because I do not know. But yes, offices. And I think that's it for here. Herdsman office. Let's go check out the cow barn. Also, I hate to go back on my word. I know a while ago I said for a 5,000 sub special I could do the life of a cow slash calf heifer whatever the the life of a bovine if i'm even using that in the proper way at here at the dairy um i would go through each of the phases what barns are they in what happens at each stage and so on and so forth but you know i'm almost at 5,000 subs already and got and thanks to you guys i couldn't do it without you guys obviously unless i make 5,000 accounts and subscribe to myself but you know, that I do not have the time for that. <clears throat> and that's also very cheap. But subscribers are just, it's the views that matters. Um, but yes, thank you guys for all your support. I think that sub special thing will be more for 10,000 because that's like a big number. And I don't even, yeah. It's just hard for me to wrap my head around all this, but here, ceiling is done. I was wondering where my dad was he's down here helping out so yes when the ceiling's not done harshly done they actually started this either on today or yesterday but that section's done and they started this top section here um this is a 600 cow free stall barn a couple of videos ago i said it was 600 feet long i got that all twisted up it's 450 feet long I got that confused with the free stall number, I'm pretty sure. Housing, I think we might be housing around 800 cows, or we plan on housing 800 cows in this barn. Um, I mean, a lot has happened here. They poured poured some of this stuff here. Dividers. That looks pretty fresh. Water beds are being installed right now. We went with water beds. I did not even know we went with water beds until today, to be honest. I know there was talk, but you know, we'll see how they hold up. 15 year warranty, that's what my dad said. So hopefully they last. If they decide they go out, hopefully it's before 15 years is up. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for around here. I can think of. Curtains are up, fans are all hung up. Lights are not in. The wires are there though. Let's go check out the new commodity shed that I believe is done, actually. As I walked down to the new commodity shed, a couple things I don't want to talk about. This bank here is mad steep. That is not mowing territory for a lawnmower. So we actually are going to use our dually, or it has duals, our 6190R with duals and a bat wing mower. That's what I'm going to call it. Rotary mower. I think rotary mower is a uh correct term bush hog whatever you want to call it here's the bank here is our work of art five acre water basin guys you guys can probably guess what i think about it or actually most of us think about it yeah i'm going to keep my opinion to myself but you guys can take an educated guess on what we think um so you have five acres to hold a lot of water yeah no comment Anyway, for those of you who also knew, that shed right there was also built here. That was, I don't even know when that got done, to be honest. That was earlier in the year. That's our manure stack shed, compost shed. And yes, 
animals do die, and yes, you have to dispose their bodies. I mean, we could turn this into a graveyard, but you know, eventually we'd run out of space. Um, I want to introduce you to the sinkhole. Uh, we're gonna have to fill that in because you know, hitting that with a lawnmower later on, you're not coming out of that. All right, we're almost there to the to the uh, new commodity shed. This commodity shed will be used, I think, strictly for sawdust. Uh, the other commodity shed is just beyond this shed right here, which is our straw shed. That is used for feeding. There's minerals and whatnot in there. Uh, the reason we built this right here is because our cow barns are all going to be somewhat close to it, and it will make it easy for the person that has to bed up free stalls. All right. And there's also still work to be down, done down here. Rock to be taken care of. Eventually, we're going to be putting a layer of some mix of soil and uh, compost, shavings, manure. Not compost, it'll just be shavings, manure. Cause we're... Yeah, this is steep, if you guys don't believe me. So this is, yeah, I mean, you get, you get the point. It's steep. Uh, down there, you can actually see the tractor was sliding some. That's how steep it is. Well, you can tell here the tractor had a trouble. I believe that was from the tractor, or the bat, or the push hog wire, one of the two. But yes, this is a four bay commodity shed. A little bit wider than the one we have now. <clears throat> uh, this here is fresh shavings. Uh, this here might, this is mixed. So we mix lime and with our shavings because bacteria and lime are not friends. So, there's that. We could have the other bay here for lime. And the other bay right here could also be for lime. I don't really know. All right, well that's it for this video, guys. This was shorter. Yeah, but I, I got to show you guys around. Uh, there's a guy here working on our one payloader because it decided to take a kaput. But it's gonna be working for tomorrow morning, so that's always nice. Cool. Oh, and there's our other commodity shed. <clears throat> I think in my 10,000 sub special will be like life of a bovine at the dairy, at our dairy, that is, and also somewhat of a farm tour because you might as well just plop them together. I feel like that makes sense. So yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye for now, and God bless.